Good morning, kindred spirits. As of right now, it is Saturday morning. I have dishes going in the dishwasher. You'll probably hear that. There's somebody mowing their lawn. You might hear that. I should be cleaning and bringing some things to the dump. But right now, I thought I would share some consignment finds with you that I found yesterday. And I haven't even unwrapped them yet. So I'm seeing them again for the first time since I grabbed them quickly. I just didn't want somebody else to buy them. Sometimes when I see something, I know it, and I just have to take it off the wall. What I'm gonna show you first is a mirror that I found. I love convex mirrors. And this particular one, and you're gonna see the my light there. This particular one is from Mitchell Gold Bob Williams. Now, I don't know the original price on this. I know a 40 inch one is about $1,400 new. This particular one, I'm even seeing on other sites or sim similar, over $100. I paid 21 for this, and I know this is gonna be great in our home. Need my morning coffee too. All right, so that's the mirror. I'm gonna put this out of the way. Something else I found is this, this jar. I found it at a consignment store and it says vintage. I'm not sure if it is, but I envision this using it for cotton balls in the bathroom. I have them right now in a container without a lid and the, the silver is gonna go perfect with the lighting. And I'll try to show a picture later, maybe not in this video, but I will show it in the room um, completed and what I did with it. But you'll definitely see it in a future video. This, believe it or not, this little package is something that I've been looking for. And like all of my consignment finds, I wait and wait and wait until I find it. What is it? Well, it's a hospice and horse bit. My husband's gonna tease me all the time when I say that. Um, this I envision seeing somehow is decor in the room I just completed, the sitting room. I'm either going to try to find a shadow box that will fit this and put a fabric that matches our wallpaper. So I'm envisioning that this will kind of go in here with the, the equestrian theme room. There's no horses shown on this, but this is the wallpaper color. And I just thought it would be a fun accessory. And I went out specifically looking for this and it's been a couple months that I've been looking. So I was very pleased to find this. I have no idea how I'm gonna use it yet, but you will see that in a future video as well. I found two prints, I'm gonna move my coffee too. One thing I like to do in this house for decorating is a little bit of colonial, a little bit of new, a little glam. That's what makes this house decor my home and my husband's. I'm not following trends, I'm following what I like. So this is kind of case in point. What is here is old reproduction prints, sketches in newer framed mirrors. And I'm already gonna see that I like these, the colors. So let me hold this up and I'll do close-ups of this as well. But I saw these hanging on the wall and just the frame alone, and it does say that it was reframed. So I'm not even sure about the prints. I'm gonna do a little research on that. But let me pull out the other one as well. Let's see, I'll just toss this on the floor. When I saw these hanging on the wall at the consignment store, with the black edges and the color of the photo, just like the convex mirror, I know these are gonna be perfect in the house somewhere, anywhere. Um, I absolutely love them. And that's one thing with decorating. If you like it and you just, you feel, you feel something for it when you see it, it's most likely gonna be perfect for your home. That's what decorating is all about. Personalizing your home with things that you like. Don't, don't follow trends. Follow what you like. And that's what makes your house feel homey to you. And that's that's been my rule of thumb for as long as I can remember. So let me put these out of the way. Put these away safe over here. So I went to the dollar store. I was looking for something in particular and I was not expecting to find fans. Now, 
younger ladies might not understand this because I used to see women using fans at restaurants out and about and kind of snicker at them saying, what the heck? Well, now I know. Hot flashes. And some of you ladies know what I'm talking about. So when I saw these for a dollar, I had to buy one. So I got the black. I love black and white. <laughs> and see, I got my, matches my outfit. So I grabbed these. I even, I liked this one too. They had so many pretty colors for a dollar. I even bought this one for my mom because I think she'll be pretty with the purple in her, her beautiful silver hair. So this was, you know, one of those silly purchases, impulse buy, but it's functional. I, even with the tag still on it, I had this going the other day. I just thought I would share that. And let's see, oh, I have these over here. In my kitchen, I'm still organizing things from when we remodeled it. And I've looked at spice racks and spice holders, and I just didn't see what I liked. But I did find these yesterday at, I think it was at Home Goods. And they're more so for closet organizing, but I know that once I take these apart, actually, let me do that right now that these are going to be perfect for holding the spices and different things. So this will be for the taller bottles and I could just pull it out of the cabinet and see what I need. A lot of these will be for the smaller containers. I'll show you that after too when I set that up a little before. Now. And I grab these also when I see them. I have them in my larger cabinets. I put um, crackers, like I'll put cracker, cracker boxes and I can just pull it out. Because one thing I wish I did in this kitchen remodel, I do have pull out drawers for the bottom section of our tall cabinets. I didn't do it on the top. I figured I'm too short, even pulling it out, I wouldn't see it. I wish I did put them in there. So now I'm um, using bins to pull things out. And I often have them in the pull-out drawers. I'll show you that also. It's, it's just very helpful to keep things organized and keep it from shifting. So whenever I see these heavy-duty acrylic cases, I do buy them. This is not consignment either, but my husband, he is an Amazon addict. And I know you're watching this, honey. I'm sorry, you are. <laughs> and but I love it because if I mention that I need something, a lot of times it will show up at the door unexpectedly and I adore that. So one day he heard me say, I wish I had black cloths for the kitchen counter. This counter was sealed with something that's like a 15 year protection. But when I wash it down with my white cloths, it actually has a, a black residue that has ruined some of my white towels. So I mentioned, I would like some black cloths for the kitchen. Well, at my door one day showed up these black towels and they're perfect. I, I love using them. And another thing with the black is also I have some in the bathroom for when I do my, my wash my face. That you see that a lot of times at hotels, but let's be real. When I take off my makeup at night and I put a white cloth to my face, I take it away, I literally can see my, where my eyelashes were, my blush. So um, I wear a lot of makeup and I, I ruined my white cloth. So between the counters and the, my makeup, I'm starting to go to black towels and black face cloths for cleaning. So just a little tip if you haven't already tried that. I also wanna make a note that in a future video coming up soon, I've been harvesting some herbs and vegetables from the garden, and I've been trying to make lemon verbena uh, tea. And I had it for the first time the other day here at home. I, I read about it, and I'm like, I'm gonna make it. I think it's so good. You can sm it smells herby, but the taste on the tongue is a really nice, creamy lemon flavor. It's almost like lemonade. You don't have to add the sugar. so. Um, some of you might like this. I grew it from a very small lemon verbena plant and it gets about three or four feet tall. I'll show that in a future video as well, but I just wanted to remind myself to put that out there. And also if I mention it, I will create the video, which is already in queue. I realized that when I shared the video of the things here in the home, 
that are incomplete due to my ADHD, I'm starting to get those done because I'm trying to hold myself accountable. But I do want to mention that I'm finally getting the molding done around the doorways in the living room and hallway. I have the first layer up and I will show you that in a future video. I've been getting other projects done that I showed you that were undone. I will put the link above if you want to see the list of things I'm working on. And I said I wasn't going to start new projects until those were done. Yeah, I lied. It's not a, actually it's not a lie. It's just who I am, it's what I do. So I have some other projects going on. And what I'm looking forward to, other than the remodel of the three rooms upstairs or the redecorating, my basement is a fairly normal basement, but it is a walkout and it's old. And I do envision it being painted white with black windows and black trim. And it's gonna be a room where I do some of my potting and gardening. Might even put a elliptical or a bike in there. I'm not sure, but it's a it's a space that's not being utilized other than for laundry and when we come and go during the winter. So I I, I envisioned that the very first day I saw this house, and I am determined to get that done this year. Um, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how far I go. I'm also determined to get working on the butler's pantry. We've been going back and forth between complete built-ins or just a piece of furniture. And I mentioned in my, I forget it was the past video or one of the past two videos, I think what I'm gonna do is just keep the cabinet in there that was originally here in the kitchen. I'm gonna paint it black, which also takes me to another video I'm gonna be doing. All the things I've painted here in my house black. Talk about I'm skipping around ADHD, like I said, but I'm going to paint that cabinet black. I think I'm going to build shelves over the top and just keep it like that for now. I'll put sconces on each side and then down the road, if I want to put in cabinetry to leave here, I will do that. We'll invest more in the house. But right now I'm really getting my carpentry skills down and I think I'll just build some shelves and put them up there and then order a granite countertop to go across that. So once again, future video, things I'm getting done here in the home and I'll do another home tour for that very soon. I'm trying to pick away at these things without overwhelming myself, which is very easy to do, but we're home a lot with quarantine now still, and since I am working from home, it's just a really good time that I'm able to do this. So with that said, like I mentioned, it's Saturday morning. I hope to get this up soon. At least I filmed it. I have a lot of things I filmed and just file 13 it, or I decide not to show it, but hopefully I'll get this one up for you. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. It lets me know you like what I'm sharing here. Give me a thumbs up. It will help others know that you like what you saw and hopefully they'll watch it too. And spread the love. Share one of my videos with a friend if you think they'll enjoy it. Bye now.